So it looks like you're very confused about something. You're trying to make a decision about what to do next. You haven't got a clue on how to move forward because everything seems to be a bit chaotic and, uh, you know, you haven't found uh, a way out of the situation. You're um, recovering from some sort of heartbreak. It seems like there was a lot of tears and maybe this has added to the confusion that you are feeling at the moment. Uh, it, the card's advice, just have some patience and things will work out. You know, time is not running out uh, if that's how you're feeling at the moment. Uh, you just need to be patient, take a deep breath, relax, and then the solution will come to you. So in the past, you've been dealing with an ending. So you may have ended a relationship and it um, there may have been somebody that has come in and brought you some advice, a stranger, somebody that you met that gave you some very good advice. So going into the future, you've got a big change coming up in your life. Uh, so things are moving on. Um, you're going to come out of the confusion state and maybe this heartbreak uh, situation because this big change, uh, maybe the heartbreak brought in this big change in your life. And it seems like you're going to spend a lot more time focused on your work. Uh, you've got the diligence card over here. So spending a lot of time doing a lot of hard work and getting your mind off all your, the problems that you've been going through. So those are the energies for that week. So you've got the Eight of Cups over here. It looks like you might be doing some studying or some kind of uh, further courses, uh, something that's involving higher education. And uh, you're very, very much focused on it. You might be having exams coming through. Uh, you're doing something uh, that involves a lot of studying and spending a lot of time alone with your books. And you're very focused and very concentrated on it as well. And you've got the Hierophant card over here as, as the first card. Um, that is showing that, um, you know, you are spending a lot of time with studying education and this could be in something as as a higher education, so some sort of university course, uh, you know, and um, you're very, very much, um, maybe you've just started university. So this is uh, the courses that you're doing and you're very, very focused trying to sort that out. So you've got the um, cross by the um, Queen of um, Cups over here. So, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself with your work, um, uh, you know, and it's making you a bit down. It might be making you a bit moody. Um, you know, you're trying to sort it out. You're trying to see the future, if you like. You want some happiness and success to come in for you. She's pointing the cup to the future. So she's hoping that whatever studying or whatever um, your work you're doing is going to have a good payoff. But it's making you a bit moody um, and uh, maybe you're a little bit depressed, a little bit uh, confused. Um, Queen of Cups tends to be uh, somebody who, who gets to be very introspective. Uh, so you're having to do a lot of um, work by yourself and, um, you know, experience a lot of time by yourself. And that might be making you feel a bit uh, left out or a bit unsupported or just a little bit depressed, really. Um, so you've got the King of Cups over here. There was somebody in the past uh, that has been very, very helpful and very, um, uh, somebody like a father figure, maybe a counselor, could be a doctor, or somebody in the medical field, somebody that's very supportive of, of you and has allowed you to make a lot of decisions. They've given you a lot of good advice and you've been taking that uh, to get forward. They're very proactive. You can see this nice red cloak. So they're somebody who's very action orientated, but they also give a lot of good advice. They're offering you this cup and made you make decisions uh, you know, by giving you this advice and, you know, you've taken it and um, and it's been very productive in your life. So going into the, um, the last three months, really, you've got the seven of rods um, over here. So, you know, you've been uh, experiencing some difficulties. Uh, you may have been waiting, um, working against deadlines. Uh, you've got this um, um, little clock um, um, egg timer, if you like, in your hand over here and or sand timer um, and you know you've been working to deadlines you've been trying to sort things out um, you've been um, with the seven of rods is about uh, information coming to light or truth coming to light and dealing with problems and situations and it's made you really worried you've been very stressed out about it um, trying to sort these problems out in the last few months so what's in your mind you're trying to take control of the situation anybody's giving you uh, you know any kind of um, bad vibes, if you like, or, or, or saying things that you don't like, you're sorting them out with this um, uh, 
queen of swords over here. So she's uh, got the sword going through this little ge gremlin that might have been irritating her. So, you know, you might be a bit irritable at this particular moment. You're trying to take control of the situation. And the, the queen of swords is somebody that spends a lot of time by herself. She's been through a lot of problems, but she's managed to conquer it. But she's a person that, uh, you know, these these circumstances have changed her a lot. Uh, she's in control of that situation, uh, but she doesn't take any any um, kind of um, problems or any kind of uh, instructions from anybody else. She stands her her ground, and that is the energies that you're taking on now. Uh, you know that's what you want. You want to be able to sort things out, and you anybody gives you any grief, you're you know telling them to to take the uh, the road if you like and you're getting rid of them from your um, circumstance so you are actually cutting out people that are not serving you or getting rid of them and you're standing alone and you're doing things by your load uh, by yourself and you're being very very independent about it as well so going into the future you are trying to manifest love uh, with this um, empress card you can see her holding the heart She's looking out to this toad. So maybe you are looking for a relationship to come in. Or if you are in a relationship, you're trying to make it into something better. So you're trying to, um, you know, bring out um, love back into your life. Or you're trying to uh, get that feeling, um, you know, where you have a lot of abundance. And, you know, where you're very, very satisfied. Um, and you are spending time alone. So you might be single at this particular moment and you're trying to manifest love. Maybe there's somebody that you are interested at the moment. Uh, maybe they're not interested. You know, this toad is not really turning around and looking at her. Maybe this person is not exactly what you want, but you know, they're in the vicinity and you know, you, you find them attractive. So maybe you're trying to get them to notice you as well. So what's happening with you? Um, you've got the Five of Swords over here. So you are taking control of the situation. You are um, waiting for some kind of information to come in. You've got the sun over here and you're going to use that information to make things happen. So you are very uh, active or proactive in, in uh, employing whatever information you have and you're trying to make, make things happen and, and be victorious over that situation. And what's going on around you, you've got the four of rods over here. So a lot of people recognizing that, you know, you're very uh, good at what you do. Um, you may, you might be making a lot of new friends. There's a lot of communication going on over here. So a lot of people coming into your arena over here and uh, trying to um, maybe attract your attention. So you've got uh, people coming in trying to communicate with you. They're all flying. So there's a lot of communication. You might be using a lot of text messaging or, you know, internet communication. Uh, but you're still spending a lot of time by yourself. But there are people that are coming in to try and befriend you. The Four of Rods is usually a card of celebration. It's a card of uh, uh, stability as well. You know, uh, trying to um, establish yourself in a social group. So maybe you're trying to make friends in a group of people. Uh, maybe you're new to them and they, they are interested. So, um, you know, keep going. So what you want, you're trying to find a direction in your life. You've got the star in your hand and you're trying to find uh, a course that you can follow. You're looking for inspiration. You're trying to find out where you want to go. So you're trying to set some goals for yourself and you're looking around for inspiration and you might be getting uh, divine inspiration as well, looking to your higher self, looking to yourself uh, to find out what you want to do next with the star card. And you've got a lot of hope as well that things are going to work out very well. And that's in your hopes and fears card. So what's go happening going into the future? You've got the Nine of Swords over here, the Page of Pentacles here, and um, the Six of Swords. So, um, you know, you are very anxious about something, uh, something looming for you, if you like. Um, maybe it's it could be uh, something legal because it's the Swords card, but it could be something to do with exams or maybe uh, assessments coming up for you, and you're very, very worried about it. Um, you can see this man thinks that it's, this insect is worse than it is. So, you know, it might be anxiety that is just, you're, you're just playing it over and over again in your head. And it might be not as bad as you think it is. So something that's stressing you out, but it is not as bad as you think it is. You're making it out to be a monster and it might not be. So a lot of anxiety going on over there. You might not be sleeping well, not be eating well. Um, you know, you're very, very stressed out. So some information coming in for you and it looks like it's going to be good information. There's a lot of abundance in this card and it's coming in with owl. Uh, so, uh, you know, it might be uh, something that makes you very, very happy. This is also with the page of cups. So, you know, it's something that is going to bring you some happiness as well. So, you know, maybe this fear that you have is just unfounded and some good news coming in for you here.
And it's good news. You've been praying for it, actually. Uh, and with the Six of Swords, it's moving away from all that chaos that you've been experiencing. This news comes in for you and allows you something that you've been praying for, but it will allow you to move away from all these problems that you've been going through and all this anxiety. So this is news that you're really waiting for, something that's going to really shift to things. You've been praying for it, and it's going to move you away from whatever problems and chaos that you've been going through. So good news coming in for you. So stop uh, being so worried and so stressed out. Um, these uh, anxieties are really unfounded. So going, uh, let me just draw some cards for the um, Oracle from the Oracle deck. So you've got discovery over here. And this is a time for self-discovery, breaking away from old roots and habits, an opportunity to start a new life. A time to look at things from a different perspective. Do not look back. Money is coming. So a card of discovery, and this is saying that money is coming in, and you need to get rid of the old habits and move towards the future. And the second card is uh, be alert. You might find yourself a victim of uh, another person's jealousy or dishonesty. Be alert. Uh, the situation calls for clarity, pay attention when driving, and pay attention to details. So be just very vigilant over here at this particular time. You are dealing with people around you that are, can be a bit jealous, and uh, just make sure that you are seeing the situation very clearly. And the last card is Alpha Male, and this card says uh, this represents a very powerful male that will be coming into your life within the next 12 months. This person could change your life. Uh, it could be a stockbroker, lawyer, doctor, real estate agent, or benefactor, but he's not a lover. So there's somebody important coming into your life, bringing in some information that's going to be changing things around. So um, the messages for the Oracle cards is just to be alert, make sure that you're always keeping an eye on people, don't trust anybody. And also it, it warns about just make, make sure you're paying attention when you're driving. Uh, you know, pay attention to detail. That's the important message there. And the second one is discovery. And, you know, it's time for you to, you're going through a very um, important phase in your life when you're learning a lot of things. And, um, you know, money will be coming if that's a worry as well. So um, it looks like, you know, you are changing. It looks like you're involved in a lot of studying at the moment and learning a lot of things. But, you know, things are changing and they are going in your way. You're waiting for some news and it looks like it's going to be good news. It's going to take you away from any kind of problems that you've been dealing with. Uh, but you're having too much anxiety and you need to relax. And uh, this anxiety is really unfounded. It's not as bad as it seems because there is good news coming in for you.